So today we're going to be testing out the um, preamp that I got on eBay. Just a quick preamp, the Art USB Pre. I don't know if this will focus in. And it's the USB Dual Pre. It's really good for computers, but we're testing to see is how the audio will sound going into the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. You know there's an audio problem uh, where people are complaining that the audio levels are very low on the 3.5mm uh, input. So one of the ways around it, uh, if you're wanting to get a different set of audio as opposed to what you're getting on the Mini XLR, is to use a preamp. Now this is not the best field preamp because there's no way to mount it. It's really just an oval shaped device. And what we're doing with it is we're gonna be testing out a XLR microphone, a phantom powered microphone connected through out of the quarter inch outs to a eighth inch cable into, well, 3.5 millimeter cable into the cinema camera. So right now we're just using the audio on the camera, the mics on the camera, to test this. This is what you're hearing right now. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to using the 3.5 millimeter input. So right now I have the camera set to 50% on the preamp, I have it set um, pretty well. On the preamp, I have the output set to a quarter of the way up. And the input is set to a gain of 30. I can see it clipping from here. Um, I'm not going to pull back on this gain because I really want to do a test and see what it sounds like. All right, so the gain on the preamp is set to 30, and this, the mic is this close. I'm going to go ahead and move the mic a little bit further away. Now, one of the best ways, or one of the ways we usually mic is overhead. Um, I don't have enough gear to test that out specifically, and this is the Rode NT2. Oh, the Rode NT3 mic. So this is a good mic to hang basically from here, just a little bit out of frame, and see what it sounds like. Yes, it looks a bit silly with me just holding it with my hand, but you know, it's all in the name of science, so no one's going to complain about how silly this is. Just like this, the gain is set to 30. This is about optimal level. It's a condenser mic with phantom power, and on the camera itself, it's set to 50%. Once again, for me to test the levels, um, I'm seeing about, from this angle, I'm only seeing minus 30. So I can come up on the camera. Now I'm up to 80%. And right now I'm seeing negative 18 to negative 12 dB. Whoop, probably went out of focus. So once again, I'm just testing out the microphone from regular standard interview levels. This is the Rode NT3 connecting through an ART dual preamp um, going from XLR into the 3.5 millimeter eighth inch input on the Pocket Cinema 4K. So now I've turned the gain on the pre to minus 14. I'm going to go back and check my levels. And my levels from this angle is back to negative 30 now. That's pretty low. So I'm going to boost the camera up to 100%. So the camera's at 100%, and the preamps is up to 14 dB of gain. And I'm looking at uh, minus 18 on my meters. Once again, 
once again at regular microphone height. Um, this is the Rode NT3 connected through the Art Dual Pre. Uh, going into my camera from quarter inch into uh, eighth inch. So there you have it. Those are the levels we're getting out of this preamp. I have a couple of other preamps I can use, but once again, they're not really practical. Some of them are computer USB bus powered, um, uh, and one is wall, mar wall plug electricity powered. Uh, these aren't always practical for the field, so we'll keep looking around for better solutions to solve the low input levels on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Thanks for watching this quick video.